cube. It's good to think outside the box, but first we need to understand what it is when we're talking about thinking inside the box. You see, uh, thinking inside the box is the knowledge of what is possible and what is not possible. God says in the scriptures that nothing is impossible to him. This tells us to think outside the box. The moment you start thinking it's impossible, you're still thinking inside the box. Now, talking about being thinking in boxes and outside of boxes. Let's go into a little interesting bits about geometry and the cube. I made a little animation for you to demonstrate it. Enjoy it. Here we have a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional cube. I'll use this for demonstration purposes. Much is said about the cube. A lot of numerologists and such can tell you much about a cube. Um, it is also a representation of the Antichrist, you might say. Uh, ask a numerologist where this comes from. Uh, I will not go into that here. The cube has six sides and it each eight corners. Each corner of the cube has three angles as demonstrated here. Now we take draw a line cross crisscross line from corner to corner on each face of the cube and we get interesting geometric shapes and patterns emerge from this as I demonstrate here. Now these images would change if the direction of the cube changed. Since this is only a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional object, the illusion is there nonetheless. You take a cube and you turn it on its corner up and you can create a three-sided, perfect three-sided pyramid. We'll let the symbologist tell you what this means. I'm not going to go there either. This is about the geometry. Now here, I have a demonstration. This is an optical illusion. Watch closely the cube. You see the arrows indicate that the lines and corners of this cube do not change. Nothing moves. I only color in one side facet of the cube at a time. Now watch closely as the cube will appear to flip on you. or you may appear to see it looking down on it as it's sitting on the floor or suddenly looking up at it as if it's above you. Do you see the illusion? Watch closely. The box will flip right before your eyes. This is an trick of the mind. You see, your eye sees the lines, a two-dimensional object, but the mind is trying to register a three-dimensional object from the drawing because the mind thinks in three dimensions. Here we got this line drawing again with the X's on each face. I'll show you something else in this. There's a hidden geometry here. I call this the Paradox Cube. I'm sure there's another name for it somewhere out there in geometry. I call it a Paradox Cube because inside each box is eight pyramids, or six pyramids, excuse me, six pyramids, six sides. And I'll demonstrate this here. See, 
this right here is a paradox. This object cannot exist in nature or in reality, only in abstract form. And here only partially, because it's a two-dimensional animation. I cannot show you the three-dimensional aspect of this. But it is a paradox because it only exists in abstract form because no two objects can occupy the same space and time. So you've got six pyramids occupying the same space and time right there in your cube. But this is impossible. And there it is. The cube, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little bit. Uh, didn't take me long to do it. I enjoy playing with my paint program. Um, there's much we don't know. And there's much that cannot be observed through science, but only through abstract thought. hope you understand what I'm trying to get here at. I'm thinking outside the box means going beyond the possible in the material. And this is a demonstration of the spirit of the intellect or the mind. an exercise. I hope it helps you think. But it can also uh, boggle your mind. Don't let it hurt you. And uh, feel free to share what you know about the cube. And, uh, I am interested. Go ahead and comment, rate, whatever. Um, peace, love, and understanding. Be with you all, and have a good evening. Good day, good morning, good night, wherever you are.